Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about grouping columns and rows in Microsoft Excel. This, in my opinion, is very useful when you have a very large spreadsheet that you want to see in more concise and organized manner. You can actually highlight a group of columns and go over to data, the data ribbon, and over here under the outline group you have some options and what we're, we're going to work on here is the group option now let's say that this table over here and this table over here are related to each other but I really don't want to see this table on the right because it is kind of necessary but kind of makes my spreadsheet not look so nice Okay, or organized for whatever reason. There are many reasons will come up. You'll see. So the way I could get uh, make this go away without actually hiding it, which is another option, and I've made a video about hiding, is to actually group these columns I to K. So you can highlight I, J, and K from the top. Go over to Data Ribbon Group and click Group. And what this does is it introduces both this toggle over here as well as these options over here on the left okay and we're gonna play with these to see what this does well when you hit minus here I J and K completely disappear as you can see they're hit they're in between this H and this L but they're always there for you to quickly access okay so it's just a purely aesthetic tool Okay, so you can plus it to see it, minus it to make it go away. Another way is on the left, you also have these options. These are the different states. So state one is the hidden state, state two is the unhidden state. Okay, so you can play with that. So it does the same thing. Okay, now another thing is you can add another le level of grouping. Within this group, I can group J and K. There are, you know, there are times where you might want to do this as well. So let's group J and K. So now I've added a third state, as you can see here, number three. Now let's play with these toggles. If I hit subtract here, the I, J, and K all disappear. Of course, they're between H and L. If I hit plus, they all come back. But also what I could do is I can click state one, which is all hidden, state two, which is J and K are just hidden, and state three, which is they're all showing. Okay, so one is all hidden, two is J, K is just hidden, three is they're all showing. All right, so there's different layers of control. And you may, uh, you'll be surprised that uh, how uh, helpful this is when you have a large spreadsheet that you don't need to see the entire contents but you want them to be quickly there and everyone that uses your spreadsheet to know that they're there okay you can also do this with rows so I can highlight from row 10, 11 on all the way on to the end and I can go over to the data ribbon group and I can group the entire section of the of my table I can hit minus and look I got a very tidy table I can subtract that and look very clean and I can also open things up very easily using the toggles over here for the columns and over here for the rows now the last thing is I want to show you how to get rid of the grouping if you don't want it anymore you can hide well the best way to do it is to open the entire whatever is grouped up so make sure it's visible so make i j and k visible highlight i j k go to ungroup right next to group and just click ungroup and it ungrouped that and remember we added two layers of group to i j and k we have to also ungroup j and k if we want to ungroup that we can go to ungroup and ungroup that but if let's say we wanted to ungroup everything that was in this column, this area, and because we inherited this from somebody else and we just don't, we want to get rid of the groups and we want to start from scratch, 
okay and we don't want to go through and remember how we group this to ungroup it we can just go to ungroup clear outline and it'll ungroup everything on the worksheet okay so that's a qu quick way if you want to ungroup the entire grouping groupings that you've done on the sheet okay so I hope grouping was helpful I do use it every now and then it's a useful tool hiding columns and rows is also sometimes very useful and a similar tool so make sure to watch the video on hiding columns rows and even worksheets can be can be uh, hidden and unhidden of course uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel check out my other Excel access PowerPoint and math tutorial videos comment subscribe like until next time have a great day